Hello, so I finally got one of these which I wanted for quite a long time. It's an IMCO 6700, however I don't know if it's genuine or not because as I've said before on pretty much every other IMCO video, um, there's a massive market because IMCO went bust and don't make lighters anymore for Chinese companies to basically make quite good copies of IMCOs that aren't actually IMCOs and then they get sold as, you know, genuine IMCOs, um, which is, you know, bad for a couple of reasons. One reason that it's bad is obviously if you want a genuine IMCO it gets harder and harder to find the real ones because there's a limited stock of those and then on the market there's lots of fake IMCOs basically. And the other reason is that it makes the price of all of them fairly high compared to what they should be. Um, you know, whereas the real IMCO should cost quite a bit because they're, you know, antiques essentially. Um, you should then get the Chinese IMCOs quite cheaply but what a lot of companies do is they kind of find a middle ground to sell. Um, you know, the, the fake IMCOs at the, uh, relative to the price of what you might expect for a okay condition second hand in IMCO. So, this is a 6700, but as I said, I do not know if it's genuine or not because I've not found any good guides to tell you things to look out for that might be different on a genuine IMCO from a fake one. Now, what I do know is different is in my pocket, in this one, I've got um, my IMCO 6600 Junior, which I know for a fact is a genuine old one because you can see how worn lots of the metal is, the paint fading off and things like that. Now, if you look at the bottom of this one, if the camera focuses, if not, I'll just read out to you what it says. It says, IMCO XXX patent made in Austria Junior 6600. Now, this one doesn't quite say something along those lines. It says, IMCO XXX, come of Vienna, Austria, Super 6700. Whether or not that is genuine, I don't know, but it seems strange the English would be worse on the 6700 and the 6600. So, I've put lighter fluid in it, and just to demonstrate, it works absolutely fine. So, there's a bit of rattle, but I think that's something I can fix inside there. It's where there's kind of a bit that spins around. So you can adjust the flame on the 6700 by moving this, and as you can see, um, this basically affects how much air is let into the bit where um, the wick burns. Fully down there's a lot more air, fully up less. So that's a nice feature, so let's put it out. Some people are telling me you should never blow out lighters like this because, you know, um, it burns the wick down faster, but I don't really care because I'd rather do that than burn my fingers trying to touch a hot lid. Um, so it's still the same sort of design on the lid that keeps the wick um, nice and sort of preserved. And if I pull this out, you will see that this is still totally removable, like with the 6600. So that's the same. Uh, if we look inside, you can see that that's full of um, cotton wool there. So it works the same way as the others. So again, no way of telling if that's genuine or not. Um, so then obviously that pushes back through the tube to sort of sit in there. Now what we also have is in here, the back bit, this is where the rattle's coming from, is the mechanism. So let's open that up. So as you can see in the spare flint holder, I've not got any spare flints. That's where they would sit. Now the bit that rattles is this bit here. I'm not exactly sure what that's designed to do. I guess it holds something in place, but um, as I said, I'm not totally sure. So I imagine there might be a way with this of, um, you know, like getting it so it doesn't rattle if it clips in somehow. But it's obviously to do with the flip mechanism of the top of the lighter, but I'm not, you know, as I said, entirely sure how to keep that out of the way. However, you know, most of this does work absolutely fine. Uh, as a cigarette lighter, it's, you know, brilliant. Even if it's a copy, they've done a good enough job of this actually copying the IMCO mechanisms that, you know, I can't really find any flaw there because it obviously flicks open and lights. You know, that works absolutely fine. So I can't fault that there. As I said, I have got the 6600. Um, I haven't got fuel in this, but obviously, exact same lighter mechanism. Uh, this bit here. I think that's exactly the same. Let me get open. That's quite stiff on this lighter though because of how old it is. And obviously little bits of rust on the metal. Ooh, something just fell out. I'll have to retrieve that. If 
think that was probably the flint that just fell out. But, um, again, that's this mechanism here. Let's see if it still sparks. Yeah, that was a flint that fell out, so I need to retrieve that. But the mechanism there is exactly the same. I think this one has the same flap. Or does it? It might be a different flap design on this one. Or it looks like that flap may have fallen off. Yeah, so I think that flap's probably removable, or it's fallen off on this one. That's why this one doesn't make that sort of rattling noise. Right, so I have to find the flint to put back into this one, but as you can see, the actual lighter design is exactly the same. It's just the junior is smaller. The only real difference is on the junior, you can't open up the um, sort of thing to allow more air in it's a fixed flame size. Right, that's retrieved, and as you can see, it's sparking again, so um, that's ready to use if I want to fill it up. But yeah, taking a look at the 6700, even if this is a copy, it's a fairly well done one. As I said, I don't know if there should be any more writing engraved on it anywhere, that looks a bit plain to me on there. Um, I'd have thought the actual Imco one would have had writing. The 6600 I have says Polo on there, but as far as I'm aware, this is because it came in, um, it was like one of those coupon card things with cigarettes, um, like in the 60s or something, um, which is, you know, a completely out of date concept now that lots of people don't understand or are a bit younger. Um, I mean, I'm a bit too young to understand that, but, you know, you get people lecture me that, no, it must have been made by the Polo Lighter Company. That's why it says Polo. No, it's blatantly an Imco lighter, isn't it? Um, but yeah. This, this does look nice, you know, it's got all the nice sort of metal work on there. Um, it's one of the nice things of Imco's is they do look really nice. Obviously it collects fingerprints really quickly like any of these lighters do. But, you know, it's got a very nice lighting mechanism. As I said, I do prefer these to Zippo's actually because they work just as well. But um, they look a bit nicer and, you know, a lot of the mechanics to it are built a little bit more compact. But yeah, you've got your, you know, light on opening mechanism. And you've got your adjustable flame. And you've still got, you know, the mechanism, if I can get that out, because everything's quite nice and tight on this because it's not been used before. Uh, you've still got this mechanism, obviously, where you can remove this out and use it to light things, you know, like a match would. Uh, so that's good. So, yeah, quite happy with this. Um, you can get them on eBay. Um, like I said, there's a lot of sellers that have these in for about the £20 mark. There are definitely some that come from China, so um, I think we can tell with those that they are actually going to be Chinese made ones. This was from a UK seller though, um, but you know, it could be literally the exact same Chinese ones then sold by a UK seller, I don't know. Um, as I said, I'm happy because the lighter actually works fine, um, and when I could, when I was looking at ones that I could tell were definitely genuine 6700s, uh, they cost even more and were in like, you know, dodgy second-hand states. Um, because the good thing of my 6600 when I got it is it was a refurbished one, you know, from a seller that actually obviously bought old Imcos, refurbished them and then sold them for a bit more, but you knew you were getting a working lighter. With some of the 6700s that you could tell were old and genuine, they were in, you know, that kind of state where you think, hmm, is this actually going to work properly or have I just, you know, spent a load of money on a lighter and I'm then going to have to try and do it myself. But this definitely works out the box. Um, well, there wasn't a box, so, you know. But, um... Yeah, so can't tell if it's genuine or not, but if it's not genuine, it's a good enough quality for the 20 odd pound I spent on it. You know, I'm quite happy with it, but, you know, be aware, as I've said, there is a massive market for uh, fake Imcos. A lot of the people that tell me they've bought brand new Imcos, I'm always sceptical that they've bought a fake and don't realise it. Um, because, like I said, Imco no longer exists, nobody holds the copyright for them really, and lots of companies know that they can make money making reproductions. If they're good reproductions and they're advertised as reproductions, it doesn't bother me so much. It's just kind of, you know, that lots of sellers try and pass the fakes off as the real thing. And then, um, you know, they're obviously making a profit doing that, which is disingenuous. But there you go. Imco 6700 or a actual, um, you know, copy of an Imco 6700, whichever. Uh, nice little lighter.